Crystal here, and I'm sitting with Ladarius Miller, who's currently preparing for a very, very tough fight against Dennis Galarza on Friday, August 3rd. It'll be live here in Las Vegas at Sam's Town Live. How are you doing, Ladarius? I'm doing good, Crystal. You know, I'm feeling good, you know. Got a um, big opportunity, you know. Um, you know, like I say, I'm just blessed, and, you know, I feel like, you know, this is what I've been working for to get to moments like these. And, you know, I'm just prepared. You know, I put in a work, hard work, and, you know, I'm continue to put in hard work. So I'm just ready for August 3rd. Now you say that you're um, you're blessed right now, and honestly, you've kind of came out of nowhere. A lot of people didn't really know who Ladarius was, and then you broke out into the lightweight scene. You beat former Olympian Jamel Herring, coming off of a seven win streak right now. Four out of those seven wins have been by knockout. So what is it that's been happening with you in your career right now to where you've been so explosive and on this crazy streak? Uh, like I said before, I'm just, you know, more focused, you know. I've always had the talent, you know. I was like, that, that, that was never a question about me, is my talent. It's always been there. It's just, you know, me focusing, you know, biting down on, on my career and, you know, focusing on the things that I want most. You know, I took the time out to, you know, to add a, um, a Add a, um, a strategic piece in my camp, you know, with adding a strength and condition coach my last, you know, five fights. And I definitely have seen a big difference in my um, in my condition, you know, my um, punching power, my strength and everything else. Now, does it add a little more pressure knowing that Floyd is obviously a promoter, you're in a stable with a lot of great fighters like Badu and Gervonta. Does that add pressure to you as a fighter? Or... I, I mean, how can you not be motivated when you're around the best fighter in the world and he and he he's making champions, you know? Only thing he wants you to do is just go in the gym and take your craft serious. You know, and you do that win, lose, and draw, you know, at the end of the day, you can live with that. Yeah, you're a very resourceful and tactical fighter. Um, you have a unique style. Some would say you're a scrapper once you're in the ring. Uh, what do you know about your opponent, Dennis Galarza, and how do you feel about your styles matching up in the ring? Um, I know he's um I know he's a um, tall, rangy fighter. You know, I I feel like you know he tries he tries to he doesn't really believe in his um his height, you know, his range, you know, I feel like he tries to use it, but, you know, he tends to get into a brawl. You know, he did it with Edna Cherry, you know, he did it with a couple of other guys, but um, I definitely, you know, feel like all around, I'm the better fighter. Not to say that he's easy, not to say that he's not tough, he, he can box, you know, he can have a jab, he can have a, you know, if he, had a, if he got a jab, I got a left hand. If he got a hook, I got a hook. If he got an uppercut, I got an uppercut. You know, so, you know, whatever he got, I feel like I got, and it's 10 times better. That's really good. The fact that you have confidence in yourself is very important. The lightweight division is one of the hottest divisions right now. So what is the statement that you want to make? Um, I just want to um, let, let the lightweight division, all the world champions out there, you know, I just want to let them know that I'm coming, you know, and I'm on the rise, you know, it won't be long before I be in a ring with them, you know, whether it's Raymond Beltran, you know, um, Robert Easter, Mikey Garcia, Lomachenko, any one of those guys, as long as I keep winning and I keep produ producing the right way, it won't be long before I step in the ring with one of those guys and get my shot. All right, so Ladarius Miller has officially put people on notice, and he's coming for the top in the lightweight division. His um, next stop is going to be August 3rd at Sam's Town Live against Dennis Galarza, live on Bounce TV.